and we've made it to Tuna Fest South. Even though you didn't expect to be here, I didn't no. expect to be here. I really didn't this till about a week or two ago, expect yeah. to actually be coming here. But So we've, we've had a really good uh, turnout. So yeah, Brands Hatch, Tuna Fest 2023. We're going to have a bit of a walk around, talk. It's very warm today. Yeah, it's already very warm and it's very early what in the day. What is it, day, 9 so. o'clock and it's what, 24, 25 degrees? So it should be a lovely day, yeah. lovely bit of racing. It'll be really nice to see Minty, so Jimmy's uh, time attack car. Um, I'm a bit of a bit of a fanboy. So yeah, it would be really cool Just to see that. And um, yeah, anyway, we're going to have a look around and we'll make sure we actually get a bit of the show at uh, the stand this year. Yeah, actually show off our own cars for once as well. So you want to see what comes. So yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll go through them and uh, yeah, go from there. Anyway, go. enjoy the video. Yeah. So we're now at that part of the video which we always forget to do. Um, we're going to go through a couple of the cars that are on stand. So first of all, we've got Jordan's Fiesta. Not much has changed since you last seen it. A um, couple of things coming from this. He's pretty much sure he's going to turn it into a track car, so that's going to be really, really interesting to do. Um, it's already been stripped out and stuff. I'm sure you've seen the back, uh, the flat floor. Um, yeah, a couple of subtle, tasty mods. Lovely exhaust system on it. So it's really cool, really. Probably the best car here. Might be, uh, might be a bit biased. Anyway, obviously my MX-5. Just a little bit. But. Yeah, <laughs> my MX-5. Uh, you've seen lots of things about it. Lots more things coming soon. Turbo kit coming hopefully very soon. Um, I say that every year, but it, it probably will be happening It is soon. the next big thing for it, basically. It is, yeah. Some, you know, small bits, but that is basically it. <laughs> exactly. If you want to see lots about this, there's loads of stuff on the channel. Also hit up the, uh, the video. You can see it on track as well. You know, this track here. You know, Brands Hatch, you yeah. can see this car going around it. And hopefully back here again soon. Very, very soon. <laughs> Moving on to the Z4. So we've got a relatively stock, got some new wheels coming for it very soon. Just put a new steering wheel on. It's pretty smart, pretty nice. But yeah, starting point, that's basically what it's built as. Um, it's good daily, it's what he uses it for. So pretty subtle, but exhaust, wheels come in. It's gonna, gonna bring it to that next level. Now we've got Tom's uh, RX-8. Now we've seen this quite a few times. Not much has changed since you've last seen it, apart from this engine bay. The um, steampunk has continued on. It looks really, really smart, it looks really nice. The rest of it is just a really clean, subtle car. It's an RX-8 what's not to like uh, they are really cool um, but yeah wheels are all done on it it's it's nice it's nice it's a good looking RX-8 it's one of those you walk past and you go oh that's clean you know it's that OEM plus look you know it's not got a massive wing and everything so yeah I really like it I really like Tom's RX-8 and it's got all the cool little decals and stuff made by that man there so moving on to uh, Darren's focus so yes this is the man who used to have the TPS RX-8 we did a video on now we've got a, uh, he's now got a Focus. Um, this thing is pushing, is going to be pushing some mad power. He's sort of aiming for 354. Um, depending on mods, he's now chasing it. I'll get him to pop the engine bay a little bit later and you can see, but he's done a lot, some really nice stuff on the inside, around the edges. He's the one who does all the, the uh, gel decals, so do make sure you hit him up to, uh, to get some. But yeah, we'll try and get him to, out to do a nice little view round. But again, nice, looks clean, looks tidy, looks slightly modified until you hear it open up and then you know it's got some serious uh, money spent on it. <clears throat> and moving on to Leo's Fiesta. Um, so she's recently had this back after it being crashed into. All good? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, she's recently had this back after it uh, being crashed into, sadly. And she's slowly getting the mods and stuff back on. She's got a nice little full performance stickers on. Uh, she's got Maxton body kits so and Ma Maxton race body kit is really sort of the main mods at the moment. Um, and then obviously some stickers and now eventually that will get into the point where 
exhaust and we're trying to convince her to do more stuff more stuff it's still it. very early in its life and it got delayed a lot after being crashed, crashed into, into it, yeah you know she lost what four months of of being able to do mods with it so be interesting to sort of see how this develops i'm looking forward to to seeing it come along and moving up to uh what i think is probably one of the coolest cars on the uh, uh the stand if you class it as a car it's a car van because you know it's a it's a polo on the front and a van in the back um this is when volkswagen made really sick vans where they've gone you know it would be really cool cutting the front of our car off and put a box on the back of it i like boxy things as well i like chimneys and stuff um and yeah it's just really cool Cam started to deck out the back of it so he slept in that while me and sean slept in the polo he had a much nicer sleep as you can imagine um again still early days he daily drives it he's got some rep bbs's um because he brought it like that he brought it nice and cheap don't look at the arches and it'll all be okay Moving on to another Focus. Now, obviously, this is the brand new Focus ST. You can see the difference between the two. Um, this one's got some tasty mods coming on with it really as well. Um, so uh, we'll see how this develops through. Um, guy's got this has now got, we've also got the purple MX-5, if you remember that from last time. So he's still got the MX-5, but this is now his daily driver. Um, it's got a sunroof and everything. The seats look incredible. The interior looks really nice. I really like these. I think these look really smart. Um, it'll be really nice to see how these sort of develop and get better and, you know, the, the modifications that come out from them. still early days, but I know this is the old uh, Focus RS engine, so you can get some stupid power out of that. So it will be interesting to see what this does. Now onto King's BMW. You know, the, the drift-looking BMW has got all the bits on it. I, I just, there's so much going on in this car, I love it. Uh, every, everywhere you look, you've got something different. So um, I'm hoping that one day we, we can all meet up outside and I can actually have a proper look through and a nice little tinker with, with the car. Um, it's got a bit of a, uh, an issue with one of the cylinders at the moment. It's slightly uh, porous, so it's absorbing the water. Not ideal, but, you know, BMWs, that's, that's what they do, isn't it? Um, but, you know, it is cool. It is really cool. So um, we'll see how this develops. But, yeah, there's always little things on this car that you yeah. notice. And you're like, oh, didn't notice that last time I saw there's it. There's a lot of stuff to it but that's not a bad thing. Exactly, exactly. And now moving on to probably one of the cooler cars, the Micra. I love this car. Um, we fell in love with this car the first time we came to Tudor Festival. Exactly, and, and that's how you know, we saw it on the stand. He reached out to us and he now joins us for our stands when you come here. So yeah, it's sick. Um, it's kind of inspired me for my little next project, but I'm not going to tell you what that is yet. But it's cool. Yeah, I really like it. It's sick. Um, hopefully I'm going to speak to Simon today and have a proper look around it. And we'll have a, a nice look around and see exactly it needs its own proper feature video, basically. It does, thing. yeah. So There's a lot to it. <laughs> hopefully we can do that today, and uh, you'll see this surrounding, but only focusing on this car. But yeah, it's so cool. It's got lots of little little bits on it that you don't notice. Um, it's just sick. It's sick. I love it. I love Great. it. Right. Um, and then the paint job's just, just cool. Moving on to the Polo. So this is what we slept in last night. I love this car. It's kind of amazing. So it's Sean's daily driver. If you don't know who Sean is, my other half. Uh, person on the... Three Amigos. Um, it's a great car. It's, it's basically the Ibiza, but Volkswagen's version. Um, yeah, it's sick. We've got some mods, some little subtle mods coming for it too, keeping the OEM Plus look. Um, springs and stuff are on the way. We've had it a while, but it's now out of warranty, so we can actually start to modify and play with it. Basically, it's that thing where if you're interested in the Ibiza stuff, you should Check be interested in the stuff we do for this, because there's going to be very much stuff you can do to that. Exactly, and it, it's cool. Um, I like it. And yeah, you know, the, the Ibiza will be leaving us soon. Sorry, it just will. I'm, I've, I've had it for too long now. Got a few more videos coming. Obviously, we've got the mod video that I keep talking about and another review and some other little cool things. Um, but it will be going. But this is such a great car. And you can sleep in it. We slept two of us in there. Relatively comfortable. Um, so if you want to see some photos, I think we've got to offer some photos up now of our sleeping arrangement. Yeah, you, you've got to bend your legs, but you know, who needs legs? So I drive an MX-5. And now onto the track car. So this is the project track car. This is George's currently daily driver. Soon it will not be its daily driver and we're gonna rip everything out of it. We've already ripped a lot yeah, out of it. Yeah, there's a lot out of it. So obviously you're gonna see the Some stuff has come off of it which didn't mean to come off of it, hence the rear arch that is currently missing. Yeah, still well, since Bedford. It's but. on the other side, it's all right. Uh, yeah, so obviously we've got oh, someone revving. Um we've got the the mini, the track mini. So this has got a lot of things planned for this. Roots all going to go black. You'll see that all come through. This will all be on the channel anyway, so please make sure you stick around for that. Um, got some really exciting things coming for this as well. Right, Obviously at the front, take a sticker. Down. If you have come around, taken a sticker, sort of put it on your car, 
tag us on Instagram. It's just really cool to see what happens and where it goes. And I, I just want to see where the cars, uh, the stickers and stuff end up. So please, yeah, just please, like seeing please who's do that. Interested. Yeah. Either way, that's kind of a quick rundown of our uh, our um, stand at Tunefest. A bit of a small one, but we're in the middle of South Bank. We're going to have to watch some racing come around, which is going to be really cool. And I'm just excited for the, the lovely day we're going to have. So yeah. we'll catch you soon. Aha. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. To. Hello. Free Amigos blog. Vlog. I got told off last time for calling it a blog, and it is hack. It's home time. Uh, yeah. Cars are starting to leave. Last bit of racing is going on. So yeah, we've we've very much enjoyed Tuna Fest South. It's been a really good event. It's been a great day. Bit Even warm though it's for, warm. Definitely a bit warm for me. But been nice but, to watch some cars. So that's been really good. Yeah. Just anyway, been nice to get out again. Thank you all very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. I, 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 I'm. I can see myself. <laughs>